We've previously taken a look at how to convert from absolute to relative uncertainty. So if at this point in time you still don't know what absolute or relative uncertainties mean, or the formula involved in this conversion, then be sure to take a look at the tutorial in the link above. Now we're gonna take a look at how to convert the other way around, so from relative to absolute uncertainty. Previously, we saw that absolute uncertainty is a number. We know uncertainties always are represented by a plus or minus sign, and absolute in this case is a number associated with that uncertainty. Relative uncertainty is expressed as a percentage. So as you can see, the difference here is 0.2 grams um, with the unit of measurement as the absolute, and relative is expressed as 2%. We've also seen the formula involved in this specific conversion from absolute to relative, being relative uncertainty equals to absolute uncer uncertainty divided by value multiplied by 100%. Say now we are going to measure 5.8 grams plus or minus 2% of salt of NaCl. But what does 2% actually mean? What is that uncertainty um, in an absolute understanding? So we know 5.8 grams is the value. We know 2% is the relative uncertainty. So knowing the relative and the value, we can plug it into the previous equation and isolate absolute uncertainty onto one side to solve for the absolute. This means that previously with this equation, we, we can rewrite this equation as relative divided by 100, so dividing 100% on both sides, and then multiplying value on both sides. So as you can see, after dividing by both sides by 100% and then multiplying by value, we are able to isolate absolute uncertainty to one side of the equation. Now we can rewrite this equation as absolute uncertainty equals to relative uncertainty divided by 100% multiplied by value. So here you could see the equation was written for relative uncertainty and we just rewrote this equation for absolute uncertainty. Now we could plug in the values of 5.8 grams and the percent uncertainty of 2% into the equation and solve. We see that the grams of the salt that we're supposed to measure is to the tenths digit. So it's to one decimal point accuracy. This means that the electronic balance is only accurate to the tenths digit. This then means that our absolute uncertainty needs to be to the tenths digit as well. Also, we see that our percent uncertainty our relative uncertainty is to one significant figure only. So this means our absolute uncertainty also can only be one significant figure. Knowing these two specifics, then we know that our absolute uncertainty needs to be one significant figure and one decimal point. So this means that we need to round our 0 0.116 to 0 0.1. Therefore, our final solution is 5.8 plus or minus 0.1 grams. So in this case, 0.1 grams equals to 2% of salt. We all know how to calculate averages, but how do you calculate average uncertainties? Be sure to watch the next tutorial to find out.